look at yourself in the mirror and think that the face staring back at you is kind of alien? That it doesn't seem to belong to you at all? Well, just know, it happens to everyone. Maybe that's the reason why we spend so much time measuring ourselves. A ruler for height, a thermometer for temperature, and the scale for your weight. Oh, no, no, no! I put on weight again. Another star kilo. This is awful! We constantly need numbers, ciphers, objective data telling us how we really are. And when numbers aren't enough, then we let others measure us. What about it? How do I look, girls? Oh! Mm -hmm. Let you me look see. fantastic! Astonishing! Get a load of you! With that outfit, the boys are gonna line up to invite you to the autumn party. You look great. I'm just hoping Nico will. I know. Last year, I spent a week having this tattoo done. And can you believe Nico barely said a word to me? Ugh. Well, at least we're trying, you know? Not like that hopeless little case over there. Mm -hmm. Jennifer, what are you doing? Are you going to the autumn party? I can't imagine how many invitations you must have gotten already. Actually, I... Wait, I think I can guess. Let's say zero. <laughs> Dressed like that, the only boy that would invite her anywhere was an eight-year-old. In fact, sometimes when we look at ourselves in the mirror, it can be hard to figure out who is looking back. There's really nothing better than a nice piece of cake to start the day. <sighs> What's the matter? Have you got a stomach ache? I only wish. Hmm? My tummy is grumbling. I just started this diet and I'm starving. Diet? Why do you have to be on a diet? You're in amazing Ugh. shape. I already tried to get her to understand, but she doesn't hear me. Why? Is she deaf? Are you deaf? No, but I'm not blind either, you guys. You're all so skinny, and me, on the other hand, I'm just fat. <gasps> and now I'm late, too. Arkin's waiting for me in the classroom. There seems to be some kind of problem with my earthly one. Mm. Hmm? Hmm? Come in, please. Enter. Hmm? <gasps> Jennifer, what's her problem? Do you mean you're not able to see it for yourself? That girl is confused. She can't decide if she likes herself or not anymore. And you must push her to hate herself, to desire to be someone else. So would you like me to beat her self-esteem black and blue? Not you. She must do it to herself. Having her hair dyed, wearing more makeup, even something more extreme. Maybe a permanent tattoo or even a nice tongue piercing. These are all ways to conform with her friends, to try to be accepted, or even perhaps to have some boy like her. And this is... Wrong. Every one of us is unique, Urie, a creature different from all the others. And beauty, true beauty, is not in copies, but in originals. Got it covered, Prof. Then hurry to the challenge room. For anyone who's <laughs> interested, the lesson is over. Oh. Oh. Wake up, Gast. The professor's out of your league completely. Why? What am I missing? You know I totally hate her. And that's to your credit. But look at you. Always the same clothes, the same look. You're not able to reinvent yourself. On the contrary, Solface with his glove. What's my glove got to do with it? Since you asked, you wear it night and day. It, it's like you're hiding something. 
You think Professor Temple would look at me if I walked around wearing a cool glove like his? Not a glove like his. His glove. Selfish. Why don't you help the devil out and give him your glove? Hmm. You're not funny, Kabale. What are you hiding? I'm not hiding anything at all. Then why don't you take off that glove and prove it? Help! Help! Ah! Ah! I can't let them see the mark. But how do I hide it? Wait! <laughs> I can explain. It's just... A hand. I see it. <clears throat> the spot disappeared. Finally. Oh, awesome. Uh, hey, <laughs> man, listen. You don't want the glove anymore, do you? Nope. I don't need it. Huh? <laughs> 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 <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm late. No worries. But with all that weight you're carrying around, I'm surprised you got here this fast. <gasps> With all the time I had waiting for you, I decided on the challenge. You ready? Huh? Oh, a gymnastics challenge? Rhythmic gymnastics, to be precise. Iraq, now get ready. Good. <laughs> Professor Temple, hey, I wanted to ask you something. Professor Temple. <laughs> Not now, Gas. I'm busy. Huh? She didn't even look at the glove. She didn't even see it. Your turn. I'll never be able to perform her routine. What are you waiting for? Well... <gasps> you can't do your routine without a prop. I'll do it my way. <laughs> yeah! No way! That's impossible! <sighs> now, flower fly! <sighs> oh, that's enough! <laughs> Cheated. Guess I won. And that means I get the first move with Jennifer. Hey, girls. Really What's like up? My, test? Hmm. <laughs> my name's Polly. I'm Nico's sister. You know Nico, right? Yes, only by name. Everybody knows him at school. <laughs> I know, my brother's so popular, especially with the girls. But he's got some weird ideas up there, you know? He still hasn't decided who he's going to take to the autumn party. I guess it's a really hard choice. Actually, he wants you. But that's a lie. Me? Yes, you. But there is one little thing I should mention to you. Nico says you could be much prettier if you took a little care of yourself. Wouldn't hurt you either. <gasps> How dare you? I look great. In what way? Uh, are you familiar with Beauty World? You know, the salon over at the mall. Of course. I don't live on Mars. Your outfit left me unsure. Anyway, if you go there, they'll style you from head to toe and Nico will invite you to the party. Fabiana and Annalisa have already been there. Check them out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It'll cost a fortune. Right, Jennifer. Hang in there. With this, you'll get in free. Consider it a present <sighs> from Nico. Um, thanks a lot. Mm. 
easy victory. Don't you think it's a little early to be mm -hmm. declaring victory? Early? You did see her go inside, didn't you? They're going to take her apart and turn her inside out. She'll be a different person. You just gave me an idea. It's my turn now. Lightning, activate metamorphosis. <laughs> to guard and protect. Ha! Hi, I'd like Redeem to... Redeem your free gift? Oh, don't worry about oh. a thing. I'll take care of you. Whoa! If anyone has anything to add, speak now or forever hold your peace. Well, I'm glad to see you're all so disinterested. There, all done. What do you think? Huh? It's just not me. I'm really sorry, but this really just isn't me. <laughs> I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry at all. How did you pull that one off? I had convinced her to be just like the other girls. I didn't have to do anything. The mirror did it. And everyone knows, originals are always better than copies. You are the winner. Great. Jennifer's the one who loses. No one's gonna invite her to the autumn party now. I'm not sure. Huh? huh? <sighs> if you don't believe it yet, just stick around. You wanna know what I think? I think I'm gonna have a nice piece of cake. Temple didn't look at me twice. She barely even noticed me. This stupid glove is completely useless. <laughs> Malachi. My lady, I have the devil's glove. It's not the glove I'm interested in, you fool. It's the memory of his tainted skin. In this ridiculous seeming glove is the recorded impression of the touch between Raph and Sulphus, the transgression of the veto, the tears of the chosen one, and the sacrilege of the young devil. Now, I have everything I need. <laughs> Angels Dice you've always dreamed of as a special friend For whom the moment to grow up is there and so she sure